Hello everybody, I just want to bring to you a thought that's on my mind and on my heart, and that's the military families that are in this nation, the United States of America, and also the whole world, actually. It is as if we are on the cusp of war. Uh, if, if they don't call it war, I don't even know what they're going to call it. I don't even know what it's going to be exactly. But um, I know that there's families who are directly going to be affected by it, probably a lot more than me. And I would like to honor and pray for the military families in this nation. I cannot imagine the amount of angst they must be feeling at realizing how much the world is changing and how much their lives are going to change. So if you would please, if you have time, and if you would give this to someone who maybe it would help that you know that's in the military. I've worked with military people and their families, their children, and they are amazing. How they do it is beyond me. The courage they have, the wives and children who are left behind, or, or the daddies and children uh, that are left behind as, as the, the spouses go and serve our country and y'all it's it's kind of invisible it's kind of a subculture that that so many of us I, I've had the honor of just getting a glimpse of it and so please join me as we pray for them father oh father there are so many families right now whose futures are uncertain because of this military conflict that we have in our world right now. There are so many people, mamas and daddies, who don't want to see their sons go off to war, who don't want to see their spouses be shipped overseas, and yet that is what they signed up for. And I ask that you give them tremendous peace and tremendous courage, as they face whatever may be coming. For I fear it's going to be a difficult time for those families especially. And I pray a tremendous peace from you upon them and may they turn to you, Father. May they look to you to carry them through and to give them whatever they may need to face whatever moments may be ahead of them. Bring them back safely, whoever's already over there and whoever may be shipped over there, whoever may be drafted, bring them back. And that includes my own son. So Father, right now, Dwell with us and let us always and forever look to you in your son's name, Jesus, my king, my brother, my savior, my friend, my teacher, in his name, amen. That's all I have. Please keep praying. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.